It's been said that sports is a form of athletic expression. But you're about to meet an athlete that has no problems expressing himself artistically as well. Jamal Boykin is a big part of this year's Cal basketball team. And in between plays being drawn up for him, the 6'8 forward can be found drawing up his own passions. Kate Longworth reports. He's big. Powerful. And with a seven-foot wingspan, Jamal Boykin makes his presence known on the basketball court. Smith leaves it for Boykin at the elbow, and he banks it in. Bearsley. But there's more than meets the eye when it comes to Cal's senior forward. Well, when I was a kid, when I was in elementary school, I wanted to be an artist. That's what I wanted to do. And... Uh, my friends would make fun of me. They'd drag me out the house to play basketball, but art was my thing. At 22 years old, Boykin has finally found a way to showcase both of his passions. With basketball, it's, it's all aggression, uh, you know, controlled rage at times, and uh, a lot of enthusiasm, uh, hyperactivity. As an artist, I'm calm um, and I'm focused. When I draw, sometimes I feel like I'm not even human in a way. I feel like I'm in a completely different realm. Boykin set many goals out here on the basketball court, but in 2009, he also set a New Year's resolution to create 44 pieces of artwork in honor of America's 44th president, Barack Obama. I want to do something um, that uh, I feel over time uh, would be positive to me spiritually, as well as a person. So I went to Walgreens, I picked up uh, some art pencils, an art pad, uh, spent about $13, um, and I took it on the, on the road trip to Washington. And in the airport, I saw a magazine with President Barack Obama on the cover. I started to draw it without just regular, just him. But I felt it would be more powerful to draw it if I cut it in half and drew the rest. Last May, Boykin displayed his art in an exhibition with the proceeds benefiting the art department at Malcolm X Elementary School in Berkeley. Our purpose in life is to use our talent to make our environment better. And uh, basketball is a talent of mine, and there have been outlets uh, where, where we as a team have given back to the community. Most people just see an empty canvas. What do you see when you tear out these clippings from the magazine? It's pretty random for the most part. Um, I get a vision and I, I don't like to think about it too much. It's my way of mixing uh, media and how I feel about uh, the image that's captured. So the ones that are torn, maybe that's a, a, a feeling of let's get away from main, mainstream society and see the man. Um, and that's my take on it. Due to NCAA rules, Boykin can't sell his artwork for a profit. But money is not his motivation. I love them all. <laughs> they really are like my children. And to sell the original one, I couldn't even imagine uh, a, a price that I could be comfortable with that. Which is crazy, but I don't know. I just, I just feel this connection with them. And I remember I, I used to carry them in my backpack wherever I went. And, uh, you know, it, it was almost like I had like a, uh, like a child or a million dollars or something like that. He's a proud parent off the court and a potential millionaire on it. Boykin's future is beginning to look like a slam dunk. I feel as uh, an athlete in college, you have to stay versatile because basketball ends, you know, and, and you would hope that people develop other talents that they can carry out and be happy with and, and live a content life with that. College just allowed me to express myself. That's really just what I wanted to be able to do, just express myself. As an athlete and as a person, it's been a great ride without question. I'm Kate Longworth, Comcast Sportsnet.